Christmas, who is that? Oh. <laughs> Here's the thing. I think she knows, but I don't think he knows. Yeah. She's yeah. like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Baby, are you excited? Christmas. You ready? Do you wanna go see Buddy? Oh my goodness. You look really happy. Are you excited? It is a chilly day and I was getting ready to head over to the sanctuary because I have a big project to do today. And Christmas gave me this look of like, don't leave mom. So, not leaving her. She's coming with me. Are you excited about that? You can go see Trixie and Ritzy and Buddy. Yeah, Buddy is her BFF. The one that she loves to run and play with. So it's a good day to get Christmas out. Um, nothing big going on uh, here today and well just mom and mom and Christmas Day with big projects ahead of us taking y'all along with us let's go are you nervous Christmas <laughs> I love being able to spend one-on-one -on -one time with the animals and um, Christmas has proven to me that she needs that every once in a while too. And after her surgery the other day, I spent quite a bit of time with her just talking to her and just loving on her and just giving her some focus. And I've noticed that with each rescue that we have brought in, that she accepts it but takes a little bit of a step backward until it's time to be okay and then she earns their trust and like does this with me and this is the first time you know billy bob just left so that happening has caused like a little bit more emotion in her than i expected to have as well and it's kind of twofold one she wants to be right by me which tells me like is she fearful that she's gonna leave too or two that she's wondering where Billy Bob went. I don't know. I don't know. But Christmas isn't going anywhere, I assure you of that. And I'm just bringing her to the sanctuary with me to do some jobs today and giving her a little bit of space from home too. So, more to come. Christmas, who is that? Oh. <laughs> Here's the thing. I think she knows, but I don't think he knows. Yeah. She's like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> he's, he's like, it's scary down there. There's a lot of big dogs. <laughs> she's like, I think that she's like, you smell like him. Thanks for taking care of him. I see you, baby. I see you. Oh my gosh, he does look like her. I told you, their heads are the same, Christmas. Their heads, their eyes, like that human. <laughs> Yes. Feel. Christmas. She's embarrassed now. Yeah. She's like, well, he he certainly has to remember me. <laughs> Tricks. Well, that was uneventful as I didn't expect it to be like so great, but she was like, yeah, okay, he's still good. I know, right? Like like jumping or anything like that. No, Christmas is like, okay, well, that's it. Both of them. Even Moose is like, okay, well, good to see you, mom. That's it. I wonder if he's gonna, like, yeah, their faces and his ears do that too. Tricks, leave him alone. She's like, you smell similar. <laughs> what did Christmas do to him as a child? Why is he scared of her? She's, she was a tough mom. All of a sudden, he's like, I'll do whatever you say, whatever you ask. <laughs> the other day, we drove off and he was, he was in the field running behind us. And he ran and jumped on the side of the side real quick. And oh. he goes, oh, my mom ran the streets, but not me. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you think, baby? Maybe looking at his eyes looks like her eyes. Oh, yeah. yeah. 
I see your mama in you. I do. He is scared though. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> look at him. Yeah, he used to be bigger than her by far. He still has a bunch of skin to grow into. How sweet. You love it here? <laughs> she can't understand why the heck we're sitting inside. We have a freakishly cold day today. Oh, baby, I know, I know. Let me sit by you. We have a freakishly cold day today outside. It came out of nowhere. We had a little bit of a cold front that came in with a storm this morning. And it's about 50 degrees. And I know what you're saying. It's still 30 here. 50 is not cold at all. It's actually pretty chilly for us who have been living in the 70 degree weather. Because this is a uh, cold, wet, and windy day. And as much as I want to get a bunch of projects done outside, I just don't know. What is wrong with me, Trixie? But I am feeling that I'm going to be doing some inside stuff today instead, which is okay. Christmas is embracing everything, and believe it or not, there's no cat chasing. Um, oh, what was that, buddy? <laughs> Mr. Hank, such a good cat. He doesn't let anyone chase him. So when Christmas, like at Longhorn Lester, she loves to chase the cats up the tree. Like, it's fun. Hank doesn't run. Hank sits there and looks at her and is like, what? So, it's been an interesting few moments here. And Christmas got to see moose, which I thought would be like this big to-do. And it wasn't. So, I guess now I'm going to sweep and mop and vacuum and maybe even clean some windows. Get that job done. Hope that it warms up a little bit before I got to get out here and start scrubbing water troughs and all of the above. <sighs> just an hour, Trix. Just an hour left of inside time. And I will get some of these tasks done and go from there. Kind of a yuck day to work in the garden. Oh boy, she found some delicious breakfast. But, uh... <laughs> I'm glad to see that she got to have a break from the routine stuff as well and that she knew that a car ride meant somewhere fun with me and not dropping her off. The vet thing the other day, I was really glad that it was Lester who did that that drop off and that I got to be the pick up and bring home because I want her to to not be so fearful of things and to just desensitize her to some of the trauma. I think that's important. Well, this is kind of funny because I have the door open and I'm doing some cleaning and all of a sudden, Moose is here. Yay! Hi, buddy. <laughs> he is just like his mama in the way that he jumps up and wants to give hugs because Christmas is a hugger. Uh-oh, somebody spilled the dog food. A little bit of a disaster there. It's okay. I'm going to clean it up. I hope it's okay that you're having a little bit of a snack there and that your mama don't mind. Hmm, I should probably clean that up now. Yeah, just a free-for-all here. Just a dog day. Oh, I know, baby. I'm so sorry. It's a doggy day. I know. We got lots of work to do, though. Don't worry. Plenty of time for kitty time, too. All right, mama's got to get going. I'm sorry. I have stuff to Christmas do. Christmas is here learning... The power of Mr. Hank. So, Hank doesn't have to say a lot. What he mostly does is not run. And Christmas, well, you just have to learn to love him. She doesn't hate him. She doesn't want to do anything to him. She just wants to play with him. And Hank's like, listen, lady, I'm too old to play. I just like to be present, get some love for mom, maybe a couple of treats. Take a nap. That's what my life is. My life is good this way. Chris was like, yeah, but we can run, we can play, we can jump, I can chase you, and you can run for me. And Hank's like, no. Hard no. Yep. <laughs> Hi, buddy. It's okay, Christmas. Come love. Come here, Chrissy. Come on. It's okay. Look. We can... <laughs> we can all love. It's okay. Come on, Christmas. Yeah, see? Oh, no love. No love whatsoever. Hank, that's Christmas, and we love her. 
I'm sorry I did that to you. Okay, too soon. It's funny is Hank doesn't do that to anybody else. So he knows that she's trying to be taunting. And he's like, listen, my house, my rules. Okay, you're right. Good boy. Don't mess with Mr. Hank. Sorry, Christmas. Sorry. Don't worry, he doesn't have any claws. He didn't hurt her. He just scared her. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Christmas. I didn't mean it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry.